What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new Codex Supplement Farside Enclaves for Tau. This is a really exciting product because it basically collects all the rules you need to play the Farside Enclaves all into one uh, paperback supplement for $33 US. So if you're into the two, the eight, or just Farsight himself and just wanna play like a, con a Conclave army list or Enclave army, army list, then you know this is definitely the book for you. What this book is not is a collection of all the rules from Monka and also all the rules from Kalyan into one volume for you to pick up. Now, there was a little bit of confusion there because I think Games Workshop actually alluded to that and that is not the case. This does not have all of that content. So we'll take a closer look here in a second, but before we do, I would like to invite you to stay in the trenches. I click on the Patreon link up in the top left there to help keep our YouTube videos ad free in 2016. There's also some sweet miniatures you can pick up if you like the new Death Watch until March 1st. You can sign up and get, uh, get a bonus of uh, those guys as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. So like I was saying, this is a really neat supplement. You know, it's the normal, basically like 70 page, 90 page supplement that's full of fluff and rules. It's got all the fluff from the old digital version of Farsight, uh, Farsight Enclaves. They came out back in 2013. So there's all of that, you know, the whole like, hey, I'm Farsight, okay, we're doing this expansion. Oh, I show up, oh, chaos, killed all our ethereals. Hey, what's this, wait, what? What's this chaos stuff? Oh, uh, we were getting lied to. <laughs> and then he kind of dashes off and does his own thing out in, uh, you know, the Damocles Gulf. What's interesting about it is pretty much word for word, it's all the same you know, pretty much all the same fluff and everything like that. It's got some great looking graphics. The stuff they came out with um, back in 2013 uh, to kind of update the whole storyline and everything. But not much new there, to be quite honest. Then you get to the rules section and that's where it gets a little, uh, little interesting, so to speak. So, they basically show you how, you know, how the Farsight Enclave, the kind of uh, rights of war and everything like that, like, Roll a battle and then you get to the back where the actual rules are now This is pretty much verbatim out of the, the, the one supplement where they appeared already Previously back in November, right? So you got you got the Warlord Traits table. You got their signature systems now This isn't all the signature systems that appeared in the new supplements from back in November, right? So you got all that and then you get to the Dom, uh, you know his specific Dom Blade contingent which includes some of the formations from the, the the new Tau stuff, but also leaves out some of them as well. So it just includes the ones that are part of the Dawn Blade contingent, which you can all see right here. Some of them have page numbers. Uh, some of them, like the uh, the aircast, the assisted aircast asset, does not because it's just basically what it says right there. You know what I mean? And then you got the Hunter Cadre, which is part, you know, of the Tau Hunter contingent. Uh, back in the expansions and the retali retaliation card right here. So all of this is the same than what we've already seen. Furthermore, you know, you go through here and it just includes them. They're pretty much verbatim. The ones out of Kalyan and Monka, depending on which one and things like that. Piranha Firestorm Wing was definitely, uh, Firestream Wing was definitely a fan favorite. Uh, Sky Sweet Missile Defense is pretty good. A couple of those, Drone Net, a lot of folks play that. But then it gets to the eight, which is right here, which is basically how you can field uh, Farsight. You know, if you want to field the, the, the Fabled Eight, all the, the named suits. Now remember, you can't exactly join these guys up because this guy is a monstrous creature. So they have some specific restrictions. They are independent characters. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you take that Riptide right there, that's a monstrous creature. So there's some very specific... Uh, that combination actually might have broken 6th edition 40k, you know, people taking their crisis commanders and, you know, jumping them onto, uh, what's, what's her face right there, um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Ovesa, and, you know, doing that, doing the Ovesa dance, like, everything's got every special rule under the sun, and then you can't kill it because of monstrous creatures, and be quite honest, a lot of folks got good at 40k <laughs> back in 6th edition when you could do that. Those folks might not be doing so well right now and on the competitive scene, if you know what I mean. So it's really interesting to see how um, rules crutches really kind of uh, can crop up and do a lot for folks. And I'm, I mean, granted, it was it was fluffy. It was part of the whole like, hey, you can do this, and this is the eight, and it's cool, and blah 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 blah. But 
you know, Games Workshop, I think sometimes we can all agree, doesn't exactly do the best job playtesting. And when stuff like that arises and can become exploited, um, and you see a lot of the same stuff at the, at the top tables, it becomes a little monotonous. And I feel like, um, you know, had we had some of the checks and balances in place today, that, that or back then, that we do today for things getting out of hand, I don't think that would have happened. But, you know, hindsight is what it is. And, um, you know, it was just uh, another time in the hobby and you either liked it or you didn't or you played or you didn't. <laughs> I feel like things have gotten a lot better as of late, so there's no need to harp on it. So then you get to the back here and it has all the Altars of War missions. And then, of course, the tactical objectives that we've, or, you know, we've already seen these as well from the supplements. So if you're in the Farsight and you want a neat handy dandy guide uh, to just scoop up, you know, your Farsight rules and things right here, then this is the book for you. Uh, if you are looking for a substitute for picking up the hardcover Monka and Kalyan books, this is not for you. Do not buy this book thinking that everything is in here because it's not. <laughs> I do believe they have a digital download over on Black Library that, um, that fills in those gaps there, but I couldn't tell you 100% for sure. Uh, at this time, so check that out. Uh, you know, just keeping everybody in the know here. Overall, I think it's a, I think it's great for bringing the hobby back. It's got very fluffy stuff in here, and you know, who doesn't like seeing uh, robots running around with shields and swords? You know, sticking it in things. <laughs> uh, so that's it for this one, y'all. Thanks for watching. Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.